Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 7th of 2022, well, it is called, titled Ecstatic Solar Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image and we've seen several of the eclipse that occurred last month in December of 2021. And that was a partial solar eclipse, which was visible from the Antarctic region. And here we see it in the background here. And in the foreground, we actually see a penguin, which is completing its or performing its ecstatic vocalization. And we get it silhouetted against the eclipse, giving us the beautiful image we see today. So the penguin here in the foreground and happening happening to be in the right positioning for the photographer to be able to get it silhouetted against the eclipse in the background. Now we've talked about eclipses before. Eclipses occur when our moon passes in front of the sun. That's an example of a solar eclipse. We could have partial solar eclipses such as this one where only part of the sun is blocked out at the maximum. We can also have a total solar eclipse where the entire moon will block out the sun and we will not be able to see any sunlight for a short period of time. And we can also get what is called an annular eclipse. Annular for an annulus or ring is what occurs when the moon is at its furthest distance from Earth and therefore appears a little smaller in the sky and does not quite block out the entirety of the sun, leaving a ring of sunlight still visible across, uh, during the maximum eclipse. Now eclipses are coming up and we do get eclipses every year and in fact there will be eclipses in 2022 in this year and there are four eclipses that are scheduled two solar and two lunar eclipses that will occur. The bigger ones this time will actually be the lunar eclipses. There are two partial solar eclipses on April 30th and October 25th. But there are also two total lunar eclipses when the moon passes into Earth's shadow and is no longer being directly illuminated by the sun. So that's when we will get the blood moon as it is illuminated by red light that sneaks into Earth's shadow. And those will occur on May 15th and 16th of this year and May 7th and 8th. And I'm sure we'll see a lot more of them as these get closer. And they're visible. Uh, the nice thing about a lunar eclipse is that it's visible from most of the Earth. So a big chunk of it, any place that is dark at the time the eclipse occurs, will have a chance to see at least part of those total lunar eclipses. So the next one to really look forward to is the night of the 15th into the 16th of May which will be a total solar e total sorry total lunar eclipse visible over much of the world. So that was our picture of the day for January 7th of 2022. It was titled Ecstatic Solar Eclipse. We'll be back again next time for the next picture previewed to be Forgotten Constellation. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.